What's up, YouTube? This your girl, Queen's Eye, coming at you to do a quick video. Make sure you guys like, share, and subscribe. So, I was sitting here and I was doing a little meditation. And I started thinking to myself, like, think about all the shit that you done been through. Like, really. Like, all the shit, all the things that people have done to, you know, slow you down, hinder you, or stop you. You know, look at all the fuck shit that you have overcome. You know, and I'm just sitting here thinking, like, if I've been through all of that and survived, imagine what my greater end is going to be. If every day you had to fight as a child, as an adult, as a spiritual person, it's going to come a point where, you know, you're going to be able to not fight. And you're going to be able to have the things in which you need and desire. And even though you may not be at that point, to stay in an attitude of gratitude, to just be thankful and to be humble will get you there a lot faster. You know, understand that the master plan is for you to ascend. That's the master plan. A lot of people don't, don't really think about death and what comes after it. But as a spiritual person, I feel that you need to consider those things. You know, what is your... Do you believe in hell? What do you believe in, in that, as far as the afterlife? Because that's what you're going to experience. I started back reading um, the Book of Thaw, the Emerald Tablets, because you can never read spiritual books once. You're going to always have to read them multiple times. Now, how many multiple times is up to you, but you will find yourself reading it multiple times and occasionally from here to from here. In there, you know what I'm saying? So, I had, I've had been spending a little bit of um, time just now in meditation before I go to sleep. As you can see, I don't have no sound on, you know, nothing to distract me. I got my fountain going, you feel me? So, it's, it's what it is, you know what I'm saying? But I had a very good um, meditation, you know, and that's why I start back reading Thoth, because it talks about, you know, the meditation, what we're supposed to, you know, look for, and what we're supposed to do, and so I need to get that book if you don't have it, and, um, I'm going to even start, I keep saying I'm going to start a book club, but I really, y'all, it takes so long for some of y'all to respond, excuse me, except for maybe a handful of people, so that's why I haven't, because it hasn't really been a lot of consistency, but I know that's because I haven't been as consistent, I'll be hot, cold, because like I said, My life is hot and cold. I'm busy, and sometimes I get so busy and so overwhelmed that I just want to sleep. And so, 
a lot of things don't get done because I just want to get done doing so much and interacting with so many people. Like, I don't want to be bothered with nothing else. I don't know if that's a curse. I don't know if that's introvert empath shit. I don't know. But when I get home, I just, I'm telling you, I just want to lay down. I don't want to do shit. I don't want to unpack. I don't want to do nothing. I just want to sit here. Or lay in the bed, period. But, um, yeah, so. The universe is calling for us to start, you know, speaking our truths. Be not silent. When someone is speaking against truth. But at the same time, you gotta stay humble with that shit. You know what I'm saying? Make sure you guys, um, open up your chakras. So... I've been cracking my neck a lot lately. And I'm going to attribute it to... I've been doing a whole lot more driving. And because I drive a stick. And that's what it is. But, make sure you guys... Some some of you guys may be actually having neck problems that don't have nothing to do with a stick shift. Like, you, you legit have, you know, pain going down the right side of your neck, but that's what mine is, so, either I'm feeling it, all the extra driving is causing it, and, uh, I'm just getting a little older, I'm sorry, my, my eyes, so, when I was in the shower tonight, I started trying to peel my eyelashes off. And so now some of them kind of hang me scratching my eye. But anyway, so I'm sorry if I blink a lot. And um, yeah, I was just sitting here, you know, meditating and chilling. And I just decided to do a video because. I felt like I need to get those channel messages out. Um, but, you know, going back to what the universe was saying, a lot of us, we are going to be okay. We're going to be better than okay. We're going to be our greatest version of ourselves. And then there's some people that's not going to reach that potential. But the few that do reach that potential, you know, understand the process. And know that everything is a part of another thing is a part of another thing that all comes together for your good at the end of the day. Yeah. So, keep going. You know, whatever it is, whatever you're trying to manifest, keep going. You know, don't, don't give up. You don't came way too far to stop now. You know? If it's a spell that you need, do the research. You know, get the things that you need to manifest what you want. Because I feel like in 2022, we are in direct partnership with the Most High. Like, direct partnership. Like, He is cooperating with the Chosen Ones. You just got to make sure that you're a Chosen One. You know? And at the end of the day, it's up to you to, you know, do your part. Because the most I'm going to do was so much. So, remember that. But anyway, I'm definitely about to go to bed now. <laughs> like I said, I just wanted to um, say these quick messages while it was on my spirit. 
like I said, making more videos, still trying to, you know, get you guys away from doing so much spell work, especially if it ain't for yourself. But the, the key core thing is to believe in your magic, even when you are doing work, you know, when you are doing spell work, you know, if you're not doing spell work, believe that what you're doing is the right thing when you, you know, listening to your intuition, make sure that you know, trust it. Trust yourself. A lot of us gotta start trusting ourselves. It's okay to trust yourself. You got your own thoughts for a reason. God gave you those thoughts for a reason. Trust them. And hopefully you get a lot of blessings because of it. But if you do happen to get a few lessons, learn them. So you ain't gotta get no more. That is a fact. <laughs> but, um, yeah, I just want to keep, like I said, dropping more video, add more content, keep you guys subscribed. So make sure you share, like my video so we can beat this YouTube algorithm because it is a game. Peace, like, and love, family, to the next time. Hey, and I know my nails need to be painted. I'm working on taking the rest of my polish off. <laughs> Goodbye.